what's up guys welcome back to another video today we are going to be doing the pregnancy q a i asked on instagram for you guys to send in some questions and i will be answering them here today um i'm only going to answer a few because i don't want this video to be super long um, before we get started please give this video a big thumbs up for love and let's get right into the video Okay guys, so the first question is, are you planning to get an epidural? So, I don't really know how my baby girl is going to want to enter this earth. But I definitely have the option to get an epidural. And I think that I do want to get it. Um, I guess we just have to wait and see how my pain is you know if you know god forbid i have any complications and i can get it it's a waiting game but yes if i have the option to then i will definitely be getting it so second question it says has your husband had any of your symptoms I don't know let's call and ask have you had any of my pregnancy symptoms do you think you have any you've had any symptoms uh, I don't think so no I haven't had nothing no right uh, I mean my mom said that weird shit where she said I'm like coffee now mm -hmm. okay all right babe uh, all right so he says that he doesn't think he's had any of my symptoms. The only thing that has changed in Raul's lifestyle is now he drinks coffee. And before, he hated it. So I don't know if that's something, because sometimes I crave coffee. I don't know if that's a symptom that he got and then he ended up liking it. It says, have you been keeping up with your workouts? Oh my god, I have not. I have not been keeping up with my workouts mainly because the first three months of my pregnancy I was very sick. No way I was gonna work out, like, there was no I could barely get out of my bed. So, um, so my motivation definitely is not how it was before, my energy is not like it used to be. I haven't been to the gym my whole pregnancy the only thing that i did was a uh, zumba like strong by zumba which is like a hit workout and walk literally the only active thing that i do is walk so yeah i know it's not the best but i'm just kind of listening to my body at this point obviously once this baby is out and the doctor gives me the okay we are going back to the gym and this time it's personal it's personal y'all okay um how do you feel about your body now honestly i feel very uh, i feel the same as before like obviously my body is changing but i don't feel like i look any less sexy or beautiful or yes i have insecurities everybody does but i'm very happy with my body like i don't hate my body um i think that has to do a lot with the way that i train my mind you know my self-love journey it, it's a journey that it, it never ends you know it's 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 kind of something that you have to work on every day um, and I know that that has helped me to love and embrace the body that I have now. So I feel really good about my body. Um, you know, it's doing things that are insane if you really think about it. So not only do I feel good, look good, but I'm like super proud of being a woman, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, I feel good. Um, do you guys have a name? yes 
yes we have a name and we will be revealing the name whenever we decide to reveal our daughter to the world um i'll give you a hint it starts with a name <laughs> have you had any heartburn okay so some of my friends have asked me that and i'm always like i don't know what does it feel like and they're like oh it feels like a like a sensation in your chest um and honestly honestly i don't think i've experienced heartburn and if i did i i don't know i wouldn't have known what that that was heartburn i think the only thing i've experienced that was really bad is the nausea and back pain right now because you know i'm going into my third trimester and i know this is only the beginning of the horrible back pain that everybody talks about <laughs> do you get anxiety listen it i thought i had anxiety before i was pregnant this anxiety only gets worse because I know for a fact, once my daughter is here, I'm going to have even more anxiety. Because I feel like I got more anxiety when I found out I was pregnant. Because I started to, to be very more cautious about what I do and when I go out and should I eat this. And, you know, I was just more cautious because it's just not about me anymore, you know. I have to put her first. So I have to make sure that I'm taking care of myself um but yes i i did and i still do get anxiety like i get anxiety about my dogs whether or not she's going to be allergic i get anxiety about like traveling with her when it's time to move i get anxiety about literally anything any little thing that has to do with the baby worries me so and it's hard not to get anxious but the best way i do to deal with it is um to talk to my husband so support from my husband is always what calms me down when i have anxiety next are you scared or excited about giving birth uh, okay so definitely both i am a hundred percent scared and i am a hundred percent excited i am more scared at the fact that i won't know what to do when she's here you know this is very new to me um i am i'm scared that i won't be i don't know doing something right feeding her right feeding her enough i'm feeding her too less like am i carrying her is she comfortable you know am i bathing her am i touching her too roughly like that is my my like the most thing that i'm scared of um obviously giving birth it's a scary experience scary slash beautiful but i think i'm a, i'm 75 percent mentally prepared for birth um and yes of course i'm so excited to meet my baby my husband is super excited we literally talk about her every day we're obsessed literally we're obsessed um i think luna my dog she is now starting to know that there's a little baby in here because she has been very very attached to me and everybody knows that that is raul's dog like she is obsessed with her dad but lately she's been obsessed with me so i think she knows um, but to answer your question, yes, I am scared and I am excited. Um, what's one thing people don't tell you about pregnancy? Hmm. That's a good question. Okay, so I didn't know that lightning crotch was a thing. Nobody has ever told me about that in pregnancy. And the other day my friend had told me about it she was like have you got lightning crotch i think that's what it's called and i was like does it feel like they're stabbing a knife in your vagina like does this feel does it feel like a like a pain in there and she's like yeah that's what it feels like and i'm like then yeah because that it's weird 
Nobody ever warned me. I didn't know. I didn't even know that was a thing. So I think that would be something that nobody really talks about. You know, like everybody says, oh yeah, you get back pain, you get cramps, you get freaking hair growth, hair loss, but nobody says you get stabbed in your vagina. So I think that would that would be it. Yeah. Are you planning on breastfeeding? Yes. And this goes back to if I'm scared. That's another thing I'm scared to do is breastfeed. Only because I'm so anxious and scared that I won't produce or the baby won't like latch or like... It's just scary. Um, I do want to breastfeed. I definitely want to breastfeed. Um, I signed up for some breastfeeding and lactation classes so I can, you know, get as much information and gather all that knowledge before baby comes. Um, so yeah, I, I do want to breastfeed. I'm excited to breastfeed and wish me luck on that <laughs> because I've heard that it's very, very difficult and exhausting. But we got this. Um, it says, do you feel depressed? Okay, that was kind of straightforward. I do not feel depressed. Um, I feel very happy. Um, I will say that towards the beginning, I did feel like I was going into, you know, depression only because it was a lot. It was like a whole toll in my especially mentally and I, I talked about this already um so i would say i am not depressed right now like i feel good i feel great i'm excited i'm very you know optimistic about what's coming so no i do not um i have the support that i need which is from my family and most importantly my husband and overall god you know i've really been um, getting into the word and and his presence and that itself like that enough can never get me into like a depressed like state of mind because I just feel so good you know when I when I praise and when I worship so that is definitely what has kept me you know going um do you Wait, have you picked the baby's godparents yet? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, so, my husband and I are still talking about who we're going to pick for our baby girl's um, godparents. I've already picked the um, her goddad, her godfather. Um... It was a decision that I made based off like nobody is going to take care and love my princess as much as this person. You know what I mean? If anything were to happen to me, I can 100% count on this person to do whatever it is that they have to do in order to make sure that my baby is okay. And that is why I picked this person. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you who it is because I haven't even told them. But... We have picked the godfather. We are still talking about picking a god mommy. Um, but yeah, we're excited. This baby, honestly, she's so, so loved already. Um, we're just very, very excited to have her here and kind of like merge the family because it really is true when they say that babies bring families together. That is very much true. Um, last question. Because if not, we're going to keep going. Favorite and least favorite part about being pregnant. Okay, so favorite part I would say, to, I would say about being pregnant would have to be feeling my baby. Oh my gosh. I love feeling my baby. And I know now because I'm not as big, it's not uncomfortable. It feels kind of cool. 
up. Finally feeling my baby, eating whatever I want without people judging me. <laughs> and I think just kind of going through the experience with my husband, like watching his reaction to stuff has been my favorite part. At watching him grow into like a different person, you know, within months and and his his perspective on things and kind of just like how our mentality has just changed has been definitely my favorite because not only are we changing for the better, you know, we're changing to be a better person for our baby. It has definitely brought me and my husband together like we're closer it's just a different kind of vibe now you know everything has been changing um and then i think the least favorite part is the throwing up the nausea that <sighs> i'll say it again and again and again the worst part of my pregnancy was the nausea i'm 100 percent sure i'm gonna give birth come back and be like what was your leap? The nausea. Like, no one can change my mind. My first trimester was hell. It is what it is. Okay. And I think that was the last one. Yep, that was the last one. Thank you guys so much, so much for tuning in. We literally are trying to reach 3,000 subscribers. And we've had this channel for a while. And I'm kind of very much disappointed in myself that we have not hit that number yet. So I am definitely doing my best to stay consistent and, you know, have more content for you. Please comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see. Um, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Say bye to baby A. This is how she's looking. Say bye, princess.